Amtrak train 770 south of San Diego. This is southbound. Alright, 770 out. Oh, seven. Nice. Okay. Um, guys, this is just my opinion. Um, please wear your shoes into the restroom on the trains. Um, it is surprising the amount of people I've seen the last three weeks go into the train restroom, the Surfliner restroom, and not wear shoes. It's like, really, I've seen barefoot socks on. And no shoes at all. And no socks at all. I'm like, it's kind of a sanitary thing. You might want to wear your shoes into the restroom. And two, you need to wear your shoes walking around the train. It's a safety requirement. Um, and then two, please clean up after yourself. Don't get off and leave your mess so that with the other person has to clean it up. I just don't do that. I've seen, it's please, it's not that hard to clean up after yourself, is it? I guess so. And then, I don't know what it is about train travel, but like, on the phone, on speaker. It is surprising the amount of people I've seen the last three weeks whenever I've been up to Fullerton. It is surprising the amount of people I've seen that are literally either on a Zoom meeting without headphones, um, on the phone, on speaker. Like, why? Nobody wants to hear the conversation. Yeah, on the speakerphone is the worst. Oh, and also, the conversation I heard last week was, there was a lady on the Zoom meeting saying that the Earth was flat. I'm like, it's not. I can't believe someone would believe that. The Earth is not flat at all. But anyways, I'm taking 777 up to Fullerton for the day. Yeah, should be a good ride. We'll be on the coast in a bit. All right, Amtrak train 572. From Union this morning. Oh, it's standing room only. Oh my. Oh, okay. Standing room only. Alright, I apologize for the crowd. I heard there was Taylor Swift is at SoFi tonight on her Eras tour, is what I'm hearing. So, yeah. Because I have seen a lot of Taylor Swift shirts today. It's standing room only. Hey guys, don't be these people. Stand behind the line at all times, please. Sixty-nine. Oh, six. Hmm. 
Here's the best part of the Pacific Surfliner, what I claim is the best part, why everyone likes to train so much. I claim it's the best route in the states. High tide today, wow. I'm so, I still want to know how did they build a railroad this close to the ocean and enjoy the view because hopefully maybe one day maybe they'll move the tracks trains inland just talk about it but then I'm like we can't even move it inland too so yeah for now it's still on the ocean like Here's Dana Point. Is it Dana Point? Yeah. Huh. How do you know it's Dana Point? The, the, yeah, on oh, the map. Okay. And I could just tell where the, it's, it's about to turn in. Last view of the ocean until Santa Barbara. Yeah. It's all inland after the station. Yeah. We got stopped. Here's a freight train. They can't put us on three. There's a track three. Why can't they just put us on track three? Instead of waiting for a freight train. Hey, well there's eastbound. Mid train. Wow. Really? Talk about precision railroading. It's precision railroad. Precision railroading at its finest. 
two trains put together to form one really long train is kind of ridiculous. And of course it's on track one. No, it's on track two, but like, they can't put us on track three. I know there's platform three. And I've seen triple seven arrive on track three, so why can't they just put us on three? We've been sitting here for 20 minutes. Like, what the heck? It took 20 minutes for this freight to get out of the way. Any open doors? Let's find out. There's the end of a train. Now I think we'll get them going again. Seriously, we've been sitting here for 20 minutes. <laughs> Some dispatching. Could have put us on three. I know they could have put us on three. He scared me so badly. Oh my god. A blue bonnet leader. Oh my gosh. A blue bonnet leading. Hurry up, Amtrak. Leave. Okay, as that leaves. Oh, nice! He's flying! A blue bonnet leader. Nice.